we'll try to get a chopper going on this. Uh, Officer Naldi, I'll be back to you in about 10 minutes. Mr. Kinney speaking, sir. It's Colonel Sellers. Since 1970, the word MAST, or military assistance to safety and traffic, has had a special meaning to us. Dr. Beaver, Mr. Kinney, 78th Med. I have Colonel Sellers on the line from Denver Emergency Operations Center. Approximately one hour in route. Once a mission request is evaluated as to aviation safety, emergency and non-availability of civilian aircraft and given approval status, an on-call MAST crew needs about 15 to 20 minutes before chopper liftoff from Carson. Mast crews are made up of four-man teams. An aircraft commander who is the senior pilot in charge of the mission. He is often medically qualified to work with the team medic at the emergency site and during evacuation procedures. The mission pilot handles our UH-1H Huey. He's the guy who knows his bird and what it can and can't do. There's a crew chief who knows his aircraft from main rotor to landing skids. And there's our medic, highly trained and qualified in medical air evacuation procedures. He's the expert who knows how to keep the sick or injured patient alive and comfortable during our airborne journey from accident or emergency site to the hospital selected by the doctor waiting for us where we're headed. Mast helicopter ambulances are not normally used for any type of search operation. Our primary mission is aeromedical evacuation. Down to that general area. Hey, yeah. Ten four. Observe you approaching. In this rugged mountainous region, our crews are confronted with a variety of demanding evacuation missions, like injured mountain climbers or campers unable to help themselves or find their way back to safety or victims of highway accidents in need of quick medical attention and evacuation to a hospital. Since 1970, when the MAST program was initiated at Fort Carson, we've evacuated infants, children and adults from remote locations to area hospitals where they can be given fast, specialized treatment and where needed equipment will be available. During the transfer of a patient or injured person to a hospital, our medic may work with a doctor who has been at the site of emergency, or he may attend to the basic needs of the patient by himself. Our job, though, is to make the patient as comfortable as possible and to deliver him to the selected hospital as quickly as conditions permit. As qualified as our medic may be, he does not assume the role of doctor. We are a helicopter ambulance service helping our civilian neighbors to reach professional medical care while keeping them alive and comfortable from point of evacuation to point of delivery, and at the same time, maintaining our combat proficiency as medevac teams. Rooftop helipads make patient delivery even easier than by ground ambulance. The MAST program has been a gratifying success and enthusiastically welcomed by civilian authorities. It has been given permanent status and expanded to 29 Army and Air Force installations in 19 states. While this mission was in progress, another mast crew was on ready call in the event of another emergency. I guess the personal rewards of our jobs come from the many letters written by grateful people who have been helped by our crews. As one letter writer expressed himself, I will never forget what that mast crew did for me. Tell them for me, General, that they are damn good men. 